Hi, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, welcome back. If you've been here before, wow, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sat in the eye of the storm at the minute. It's absolutely horrific. Look, check this out. Oh, I'm not gonna open it for long because I daren't, but oh, grey skies and cloud and rain. Fear not though, for one, I'm snug as a rug in a bog and all that malarkey in the crib. And two, hopefully about 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, it's supposed to clear up and get sunny. I don't know how that's gonna happen. But more importantly for us in today, I'm gonna be heading from here, a little place called Bradwell on Sea that I came down to yesterday to explore and pick up a couple of heating tubes from somebody. And then today I think I'm gonna slowly start heading back towards Leicester with a pit stop in a place called Dedham. There's supposed to be a couple of free decent looking car camping spots and there's some nice looking hikes around there that I wanna go check out. So I'm gonna try and close and clear up this crib from the inside without getting out. Get all my bits together and slowly meander up there. It should be pretty good. It's yet another area that we've never explored and I'm pretty excited to get up there to be fair. The pics on the trail apps look pretty sweet and if it clears up, yeah man, it's gonna be one of them days. It's gonna be good. Right, let's get a shizzing it together. Let's do this. Ah, oh, I'm not gonna lie, you know, the weather really isn't that good, but I just don't care. It's wicked down here. I'm so stoked. After the past few trips of like hanging around the Peak District to feel comfortable on that, to finally get out to somewhere new down here in Essex, really good. I'm finding little bits of my mojo all over. I think I found a little bit last night over near the beach. And then this spot last night brought a little bit back. It was a good little spot in the end. I was a little bit dubious when I first got here. Brand new spot, not been here before, but turned out to be really nice. Didn't see a single car all night. Really good. More importantly for today, less waffle, more movement. intense drive, I don't know, a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of everything, so uh, yeah, it's been a long one, good news, we're only five minutes from the spot, and, oh mate, this could be absolutely blessed, I think where I'm going to park up for the hike is where I'm going to park up for the night, I've been looking on park for night, yeah, they're the same spot, I'll show you on the screen, it looks a good spot as well, I think you're supposed to pay about 50p a night or something, um, and there's like parking areas, sounds really kosher so fingers crossed there is another one around here as well that i may check out tomorrow before i leave but if this one's all right tonight then we're gonna win a chicken dinner all right about four minutes now let's go wow nice looking church look how decorative the brickwork is on that that looks wicked man right nearly here i've got to tell you though really hope there's a freaking bin in the car park because i've got to get my bin bag out of the car this car absolutely reeks of fish from last night. It's a little bit overpowering. Aye. Here we go then. Look, 800 metres from the spot. Little house on the left, we're bowing right. It's like we're just it's a little spits of houses along the way. I don't know if it's going to be like in the middle of a village or nothing. I'm really not sure. We are close though. I don't know how much you'll see of that, but there doesn't look much around here, if I'm honest. It's all green and few rivers and lakes or something. Looks good. Looks kosher. 200 meters. Oh my days. <laughs> Dedham. Oh whoa. It is actually in the village of Dedham then. This is the village of Dedham. Oh, I hadn't realized that. Man this place must be small eh. Oh it is in the village. Arr. This is it here. Car park and coaches it says. The uh, Mill Lane Dedham car park. Uh, Okay, um, not sure. Well, there's a gate on here as well. That's a bit merchant off. Right, let's get in and have a look. Mate, this is a bit odd. Um, it looks good. Oh, wait. Wicked, wicked, wild, wild. Damn. Oh, that's a bit of an olive one though. What time is that? I'm gonna have to pay a bluey, mate. And then I'm gonna have to pay for overnight as well. Oh, that sucks. But 
you can overnight here. Six till six. Oh, nightmare. That's going to be an early rise. I thought it was eight o'clock. Damn it. All right, let's find a spot. Change the plan. I'm going to go check out the other spot. It's only like 60 seconds up the road, so you know, you know. Let's have a look. Man, this is a bit odd. I think this might be it. It's literally like we're in spitting distance. Your destination mm. is on the left. I don't know which one I prefer. Possibly the other one, if I'm honest. It's a little bit more out of the way. I don't know. She's on the main road, isn't it? And, damn. Same pricing setup, and you can overnight here as well. By the river. But, <sighs> you've got a main road passing you here, isn't it? I think, just to be off the road a little bit, and out of the way of, you know, passing traffic and stuff, to like, not be noticed, I think the other one's gonna be the goer. So yeah, I'm gonna get back up there and get all my bits together. Let's do it. Oh, my days. I'm so hungry, I've not had breakfast. Look at this, I'm on rations, a dry cheese sandwich. <laughs> but, I was just thinking, you know, like, it's legal to park overnight here, it's 50p, rah, rah, rah. I thought it was illegal to sleep in your car overnight. God, I don't get it, man. Anyway, I'm gonna get all my shiznit together, and we're getting on the trail. We're in the spot. It's gonna be a good one, man. Blue skies and blazing. Let's go. Yes, further away, see? That's where it's at. And, ho, 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 pretty sight, they got a bin here, mate. I can get rid of that fishy smell, that stinks, dude. Also, set the scene, going with the gaiters and jeans and a red jumper, looking like an absolute doofer, it's fair to say. But in all honesty, I don't care. It's gonna get boggy, I feel it in my bones already. I could have put my uh, waterproofs on, but the bright, luminous green, so. And they're just chaffed together. I figured it'd pick up on the mic, like every time I move, just ch -ch 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 -ch. Yeah, we're going our guns, jeans, and the gaiters. Oh, and a new beanie. Oh, I should say, a bit of a mad one. I hadn't anticipated this happening so soon, if I'm perfectly honest. The GBB Wondering Wear beanies have come to an end as of today. There was only ever gonna be a certain amount of them, and the last few have been sold over the past couple of days. Fear not, da 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 da, there's a new range coming. I've been working really hard, if I'm perfectly honest, trying to organise a new range with, hopefully I'm thinking six colours or six choices and materials, etc., etc. We've been harnessing our skills, not me personally. Old man Jones is going to be making them. No, he's not. But I have got somebody closer to home and I am bringing them closer to home. So I'm going to be able to like choose more easily the range that I'm selling or giving to you guys. Anyway, long story short, they should be available the first week of December. As of now, there are no wondering where beanies available anywhere. So this video is gonna drop, should be about another week, and then the new range will be coming. I'll let you know more soon, or more about it, when we get closer to the date. Right, I need to check the trail out. I'm totally lost. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the best of starts. That point there is where we started in the car park and I'm headed back towards it. Not there. But more about the trail, it's called the Dedham Gunhill and Stour Valley Loop. It's about six miles, so hey, 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 if we don't get too lost, it should take me about three hours. But yeah, loads of countryside, good views, and we got the blue skies for the view. So yeah, man, this one's gonna be a good one. Right, now we're back at the car park. Let's turn right at the end instead of left and get on the trail. What a freaking nightmare, I've just wasted about 15 minutes. Hey. Oh well, after all the bumble fluffing around, this is a nice start to the trail. Check it out. Little, like, no pond lip river lake thing with the old uh, canal feeding it in and the lock. Pretty sweet, man. Aye. It's a life, isn't it? The old canal boat life. Seen a few channels doing that, living out on the canal boats, touring around the UK. We'll have to get over to France as well with a canal boat. Got some good trails there, you know. Trails, canals. Ooh, yeah, it's got some water going. Ah, pretty good. Makes me want to go down here in a kayak. Oh, check it out. I don't know how much you see, it's blowing me out, but there's a nice path that goes along the canal there. You could follow it for miles, I assume. Yeah, we'll go into a boggy field, shall we? Let's go, let's go. Arr. Oh, so anticipating a squeak. It's got none. Still need those what three word locations, guys, for you uh, squeaky gates, you do. Keep them coming. Wow, this is mad. 
I thought this was a horse field because of the, the wiring and the fencing and lo and behold there's a couple of horses down the way but there's also there was a sign back there for partridge that way or something and private fishing lake what an area wow well I'd love to boot you know pretty cool I did get asked last night actually when I got back to my car some guy hanging around and uh, he was asking me if I was fishing down there so I guess I must have been good fishing down Bradwell on sea also great area loved it Oh, I haven't realised. So I've got mum and a foal there. Ah, oh, that's nice, eh? They look pretty content. <laughs> oh, mate. Look at this, this trail, man. It's going to be like this the whole freaking way. I'm just slipping. Put your foot down and it slips. No, oh, Jesus. You know what I mean? It's uh, hard work. Ah, game on. Ah, proper, mate. Sun's beaming on my face. And I've just come into a field, makes me feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. Oh, wicked, mate. What a day, what a buzz, what a vibe. Ah, oh, loving it, feeling alive, man. Ah, it's so good, man. Check this thing out as well, just, I wanted to say. The river. Damn, it's, uh, it's really high, eh? I bet all these fields around here flood. I'm gonna get a decent amount of rain, eh? That's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Lovely area, though. I get a feeling that we're in the middle of, like, Nowhere. It was a bit weird coming down to Essex because uh, I said it in the last episode. I thought it was a town, not a county. And then when you think of Essex, personally, I always think it's London. I think it's like on the outskirts of London, which it kind of is, it touches it, but no, nah, you know, Epping Forest, Essex, yeah, that's kind of London, but this side of it's well away from it. We're more near like Suffolk and then moving towards Norfolk than London, I guess. It's beautiful. It's freaking awesome. Look at it. What a day. That's all I need now is my sheep outfit. <laughs> or I'll be made up. <laughs> Maybe a Sasquatch, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, it's not a friendly trail, this one. It's just bogs and water everywhere, mate. Oh, hang on a minute. Ah, it's not quite right. It's not quite a squeak. Arr, snuff. We'll find one. I'm feeling it. I've got a feeling we're going to find a squeaky gate today. I've got you, mate. Oh, yes. Just got to avoid all these boggy pools of water. Boom. Sneaky bit of everything on this trail, then. Check it out. We're in some village again. I'm guessing this is, like, the other end of Dedham, but it's a nice place. It really is. Some nice houses as well, though. Check that one. Look at it. Be like a fire bed. Nice. Conservatory on the back. Pretty sweet. Looks like i got some old school. I won't say the council, actually, but... Yeah, the old terraced house is going on. Pretty good, man. It's a nice mix. No way, look at this one as well. Spanking roof on it. That's pretty sweet. Right, I think we should cut a left up here and then back into some muddy fields. So, happy days. Let's go. Oh, wow. Look at this for a tidy little shot. The river and water meandering in. A little place in the backdrop. Sun glistening through the trees in the autumn evening. Wow. Proper blissful, man. My mind's ticking. It's a beautiful spot. The mojo's coming back. And the plants are getting bigger and, and fatter, if I'm honest. I'm hoping the next few months is going to be pretty pucker. I can't say too much, but... Uh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, is it going to be that lucky day? Oh, mate. Yeah, baby, yeah! Oh, here we go. It's a classic, but it's the moment for it. One love, one life. Let's get together and feel all right. Oh yeah, baby. We got it, baby. Squeaky gate, man. Ah, oh, made up. Legend. Moving forward. Yeah, I really can't say too much in, in terms of plans and stuff, because you never know where, what's going to happen, but Scotland might be on the cards again. Up there. And, uh, yeah, I might head out to Europe, mate. I said it, didn't I? End of last year, start of this year. Maybe this time we could get over to Europe and, uh, like I say, can't say too much, but it's definitely one of them cards. And it's one of the aces, I've got to tell you. Oh, no way. Check this out. Looks like we're on an actual official sort of way. The Essex way, no less. It's all private, no access either way, though. I don't know. Should check one of them out, you know, keep saying it. Maybe there's one that's doable just in a few days or something. Nothing too major like six months trekking across the old landscape of the UK. I might not be able to manage that. 
yeah, could be a good name. Well, this is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in my life. It's a proper, proper horse trap. I mean, you see trails around for horses, like, you know, the horse trails, like things, but they're all through boggy fields and along boggy sort of marshes, like almost what I walk along. But this is a proper, proper trap. Who knows how far it cuts, could cut for miles. It's fantastic though, isn't it? Having something out there that's sort of for people to use, you know, that's good, man. It's not a bad area for it as well. Wow, imagine riding around there. It'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? No one around, beautiful landscapes. Whew. Yeah, it's a spot for it. Of course, you know, being on YouTube, I should say, depends on your depiction of riding horses. Each to their own, you know, you know, who am I to judge? I'll tell you what, if I can't get through this gate, this is gonna be a whole world of pain. Oh, mate, fingers crossed. Oh, this is not good. Oh, mate, you got, oh, mate. Oh, we're getting well power then. Ah. Oh. I was thinking like, yeah, I'm going to have to bop over it, but can I show it on the video or not? Oh, like a little tear away, clambering over gates and stuff, but there's no way I was going to trek three mile back that way to cut it back to where I need to be. Anyway, gate opened. All's well, but ends well. Mate, I can't even wear my beanie. I'm so hot. These things are dang hot, man. Oh, right. Trail. I don't know where I'm going. It's wicked, man. I'm just meandering and bumbling around in the middle of nowhere. Legend. Let's go. I'm not being funny. But well, that's a wooden bridge over a river. Oh, mate, that's got moonwalk written all over it. Also, I'm not gonna lie, pretty precarious one as well, you know, you know. Woo, yeah, living it up. Look at that bad boy. Going backwards, you love it in reverse. Oh, mate, I don't like it in reverse. No, no, I don't. Yeah, for the moonwalk. Feeling the vibe. Arr. Good way to cut this one as well, I think, because I've got a few more boggy fields and then I'm back on the road and then back to the crib. Mate, I'm absolutely famished. I've got a mega little munchie that I want to cook up when I get back there. And I think I'm going to try and use that heater. See how it goes. Just give it a go. Have a test of it. So, yeah, we'll catch you back at the crib. Oh, good timing getting back to the crib, mate. It's just started raining. I've got to say, though, your car really, really stinks of that fish. It's a little bit overpowering. Nevertheless, a nice warm cup of Earl Grey. And a munchie, check this out. There's not many things I like in life, or well, I guess there's a million, but some things I like more than others. Coffee and cheese. And I've got myself, oh my days. I thought it was a brie. Oh well, it is. An official camembert. Oh, Ridge Monkey Tastic. Figuring I'm going to use it as an oven and just eat it up. And the beauty of these ones is, because I have done these before, because I do really, really like them, they come in like this little wooden base thing, look. So it's all I've got to do is unwrap it slice it put it back in its little wooden box thing and then put it in the oven aka the ridge monker this is definitely gonna work yeah and i got some bready bits for it <sighs> stoked all right somewhere in the back here oh mate is the ridge monker oh yes always remember oh, never forget take out your plastic bits before you start you know what <laughs> i can't believe i've not melted them at one point it's a miracle. Right. Gotta be careful. Treat it with respect. Because it's a camembert. And these are just legendary. Oh, mate, it stinks. Oh, yeah. Oh, mate, I could almost eat it raw, you know. No, wait. <laughs> Damn it. Now, this is where the problem lies. Because I'm not entirely sure which is the bottom and which is the top. I'm thinking that's the top. What do you reckon? Look, there's lines on it there. I don't know. That looks a bit thicker. That looks a bit messed up, beaten up type thing. So I reckon I'm gonna go that side for the cut. Damn it, I can't remember which one was that way. Oh, there we go. She's ready. Yeah. <sighs> Let's go. Now, there may be one freaking issue. Oh no, no, please no. Oh, I'm psyched. Really, really worried like the lid wasn't quite shut. Oh, that's legendary. We're game on. Right, there's no time limit on this thing. Oh, I don't know. When it starts going ooey and gooey, it's ready. It could take a while. <laughs> 
Oh my days, this thing's done beyond belief. Look how soft the top is. That's perfect, right. I'm gonna have to get me bread on quick. Look at this for a munch it. This is what you wanna be doing in the ridge, isn't it? This sort of thing, man. I really shouldn't be putting that on there because it's probably not clean, but oh well. A little bit of germs makes you more stronger, doesn't it? That's what they used to say. Oh, moment of truth. Look, look, I've not even got to peel it back. Oh, my days, ow, ow. Really hot, everything's hot. Oh my goodness, I wish I had a plate to serve it on, but there we go. Oh my days, mate, oh my days, that is amazing. So good. I've done a perfect camembert in the crib, man. Screw it, I'm eating the lid, I'm eating the skin, I love all of it. Oh, wicked, mate, right. I'm gonna make myself sick as a dog. Watch a little bit of the World Cup, don't you know? And I'll catch you in a bit. Oh, we should try that heat later. It's gonna get cold. We'll do that. Well, I'm not gonna lie. After all that cheese, oh mate, I'm feeling a little bit sick. But the heater cheap. Ta -da -da -da. Check it out. This is the thing with it. It's a bit of a mad one actually because I have seen other YouTubers with these like heater sort of strip light -like things, and they're half the size. And those ones were like 40 and 80 watts. This is 180 watts. And when the guy said to me, like, I've got them, because I thought they were half the size, I thought I was going to attach them down here. Let me show you. My plan was kind of to attach them to the side of the bed along this bit because my table slides down the back there and finishes about here. So I figured I'd get one there. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It looks a bit long. It just looks a bit, well, maybe, maybe. It might be doable. If you don't go over there, yeah, I'm not sure where I'm gonna be able to put it. There might be an option to hang it from these things. You know, like your, your coat holders, but in the front. I mean, it's gonna heat the room up. And here's the thing as well, I should say, because I put that video out saying, well, 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 electric heaters and all that. You know, I'm in a bit of a different situation to everyone. I've got a YouTube channel and a company sent me a power unit. So in reality, I'd be a bit of a fool not to have accepted this gift and at least try them out to see if the fees are full or, or not. So yeah, that's where we're at at the minute with this. 180 watt bad boy. They did say to me though, be very careful because it gets very hot. Let's find out. Got the old eco flow rocking for this one then. You know, just got it, thought I'd put it, bloody hell. Oh crap, uh, yeah. Put it through its paces. <laughs> it's coming on a big one in a few weeks so it'll uh, properly get tested out. Right, here we go then. Takes a few seconds. Oh man, no it don't, bang. Straight in at 178. That's gonna give me three hours worth of usage. So there's the reality of it as well though. Now, from what I've been told, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to warm up. It is pretty cold tonight, I've got to be honest. I think it's getting down to about one degrees already and I'm pretty cold already, so it is gonna be a cold night. I've got no heated blanket, which I need to get. And at the minute, apart from putting the kettle on, yeah, that's it, so. I mean, I'm all right, I deal with it. I dealt with it all last year. I mean, let's be honest, man. You know, we see all these stories, videos, and rah, 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 ooh, surviving the cold. If you're as old as I am, I used to wake up in the morning in my house with ice on the inside of the windows in my bedroom. Yeah, it was cold, mate, and we had no eating. You know what? I always remember, and here's a tale, I must have been about nine years old, and we got central eating. Yeah, it weren't central eating. It was the first time we'd had eating in the house, you know what I mean? And we had, what it was, it was kind of like a gas radiator heater thing. Then we had one at the bottom of the downstairs, at the bottom of the stairs. And then I think we had another one because we were really well off at that time in the living room. Yeah, man. So that one from at the bottom of the stairs, that heated the downstairs hallway. And then hopefully the heat went up into the upstairs. You know what I mean? There's the reality of it, man. We live it. We're old. We've been there and done it. <laughs> and look, look at the wrinkles to show for it. <laughs> That's why I don't use moisturiser, you know. Or any of them things. It was like, I always had this thing about, no, you've got to have a face that tells a tale, that shows a life lived. Rawr. And now I'm getting to that stage. <laughs> Mate, I really wish I'd used some of them creams, man. We've got like a million lines going on. It's mad as hell. It's getting warmer. It's not hot, hot yet. Like you could put your bum on it and you won't burn, you know what I mean? Or whatever you want to put on it.
But yeah, oh, it is nice. Oh, it's not quite. <laughs> no. <laughs> Still sucking the juice though. Right, we'll see how it goes in 10 minutes. I'm going to time it. Right, my timer's on six minutes, so that means it's been four minutes since I spoke to you last. <laughs> and, yeah, mate, that's well up. You can't touch it. Ah, you definitely ain't putting your tootsies or your bum on that thing. That's roasting. Wow. So, the next test. I'm going to leave it running for half hour or so and just see how it heats up. Obviously, I've not got a thermometer in here. Um, but in human terms, I'm going to be telling you if it's a little bit hotter or not. So, yeah, we were... Uh, Still got three hours. <laughs> Let's give it half hour. See how... Ha! Yeah, it gets well up. Damn. Yeah, it was right. You don't want any material in the night, like, lying over it or anything. Not that I'd have it on in the night. That's the thing with it. I wouldn't use it overnight, simply because it's draining the sugarish, nearly, out your power. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm in bed. I'm asleep. I'm warm enough already, you know what I mean? I've got a couple of sleeping bags and a quilt and all that. So this is just for when you're chilling. And, uh, yeah, it's getting on. Let's see how it goes. Half out. All my days. Honestly, I'm absolutely sweating my freaking jungle off, mate. Bloody hell. I wish I'd shaved my chest and all. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I got a bit. Oh, man, there's like three layers here. Hang on. Can't find my freaking head, mate. What a freaking nightmare. <sighs> Darn it. Oh, that's not right. Oh, it feels weird. It's like ridden up inside now. Like the inner one's ridden up inside or the, the middle inner one. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that feels better. Oh, anyway. So, yeah. In all honesty, I was thinking about it. I would be at this point of the night getting the kettle on. I'd have a beanie on. I'd have my body warmer on. My feet would be cold. Most definitely my feet would be cold. They always get really cold. But I'm not. I'm not at all. I'm toasty warm. I could actually take the jumper off, I think, and I'd be cosy in here, but it really is. It's not hot in here, but it's definitely cosy. And here's the thing. Realistically, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to put this in this crib. I don't think I will. I'm going to give it a go and see how we can move things around, but I am well limited for space at the minute. But it could definitely be an option for a future build. I mean, if you were going to put a leisure battery system in, it's going to like have a relay and recharge when you're driving around and whatnot. Then for a couple of hours in the evening, using up, say, 350 watts on your power, if you've got a 1600, 2000 watt like battery relay system, then it's not a bother, is it? I don't think it'd be good for one of these. It'd be all right if you were just going out for a dirty one night stand or something. Like at the minute, I'm still looking at 75% power left and I've had it on for about an hour. So, and I'm thinking of having an early night tonight. So with all that being said, then possibly could be an option. I mean, it's definitely an easier installation than a bloody diesel eater, isn't it? Let's be honest. Be interesting to know, be it what I did say on that video, how it'd compare to a, say, 200 watt electric eater. I might try and get a thermostat and do some temperature tests at one point and take it with me on another trip. But yeah, I think for now, I'm not going to cook tonight. That's pastas, that cheesy thing's done me all right. I think I might splat a bit of pasta together later. But yeah, I'm just going to chill out and watch the World Cup. Hopefully get no bother. I don't know about this spot. It feels a bit random. You know, if you're regular to the series, I don't normally do these like urban camps in car parks. I'm normally out in the middle of nowhere. So we'll see how we go. I don't think it'll be too much bother. I've had a couple of boy races rush by, but I think it's a quite a little sleepy village to be honest. So fingers crossed. And I'll see you in the morning. Ah, oh, morning. Check this out. What a day to wake up to. Oh, my days. It's not quite blue sky. It was an hour ago. It's getting slowly cloudy as the day goes on. I think it's going to last and be good till about three o'clock. So I'm not going to mess about this morning. I've got a few bits I want to do. But it was a good night's sleep. Which you got to be honest, I'm pretty psyched about some random little car park in the middle of nowhere. I had one car pull in about 10 o'clock last night. Sort of pulled in the car park, drove around and drove out. But there was a van down the way all night. I don't know if there's anyone in it or not. So sort of gave me a bit of confidence in staying here overnight. But I think this is going to be the best point to end the episode. As always, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, all the good stuff. Hit the like button, subscribe to keep up the series. And definitely hit me in the comments. And as always, you know, you know. Take it easy. Enjoy the camp. And stay stealthy. Get out of there, man. It's winter. It's a good time for it.